abstract art, expensive business. Another lawsuit for a fake Rothko was settled this weekend, leading New York gallerist Anne Friedman and also Nodler Galleries. They're the ones uh, being sued. It's a federal lawsuit, a fake Rothko for $8.3 million, and it follows damaging testimony of Nodler Gallery and Miss Freeman involved in the sale of over 30 fakes from abstract and expressionist masters over 14 years, bringing $32.7 million to the gallery and also $10 million to Miss Friedman in commissions. These are Rothko's, Jackson Pollock's, well actually one was a Jackson Pollock because they misspelt the name of this expressionist artist, this abstract artist that the whole world knows about. And these, these fakes were painted by an unknown Chinese artist in the garage of his home in Queens. This is the Jackson Pollock here. Many of you know, will know Jackson Pollock as the famous artist. Apparently, Miss Friedman, even though it's her job to do so, didn't spot the mistakes. She also didn't spot the mistakes in a number of other Rothko paintings. She managed to sell them on to galleries. Uh, two of them were put up in major galleries in the mm -hmm. United States. It shows how much or how little some of these galleries really know about what's real and what's not. You know, when we go to these galleries, we go stand in the Rothko section, I'm pretty sure everyone at some point or another in a section like that has commented, I could do this, I could paint that, my son could paint that. And it just goes to show that it's very hard to know what's real, what's not, and also what's really worth this kind of extortionate figure. I just want to say before we go on, the case against Ms. Friedman, they say that they think it's going to be dismissed today. She's claiming that she just didn't know it was oversight. She genuinely thought they were real. Obviously, a lot of people are saying that this is BS, that it's clear that she could know how to spell Jackson Pollock. Um, but yes, 30 of these fakes going around were sold, 10 million in commissions to her, 32.7 million uh, to the gallery. And this is one of nine lawsuits. Five have been settled, four still pending. This one was settled yesterday. Yeah, interesting story. I think this really speaks to the uh, the shady business dealings within the art world. I mean, these, these people working at these galleries making millions of dollars, pretending they don't know it's fake. Uh, look, I mean, I look at the Jackson Pollock, okay, for example, that to me is hilarious that somebody spent hours, who knows how long, doing it and then spells the damn name wrong. That's so sad to me that you can perfectly replicate someone's style, but then you can't spell their name at the end. That's pretty sad. But you're right. Everybody does look at these and say, I can totally paint that. Maybe not the, pal uh, the Pollock, per se, but I mean, I, I look at the Rothko's on the wall. I'm not saying, Joe, that I could paint that, but you could. I could probably paint <laughs> Well, it's definitely a conversation that's come up time and time again. There was even a documentary called My Kid Could Paint That, and it was about uh, a man who was trying to uh, trying to get his Pollock recognized, and they couldn't tell. No one could tell if it was real or fake. He thought it was real. Who knows? Um, but it does. It speaks to shady practices of the art world. It speaks to inflation of some of these paintings anyway. What do they really mean? How do they make you feel? Uh, again, just something that a lot of people feel that they could do at home. And even the history given of where these, these multiple uh, expensive pieces of artwork came from, they were told, people were told that they came from the family of a mysterious Swiss collector only identified as Mr. X. That apparently wasn't a red flag enough for Miss Freeman, who is experienced enough in the art world, but apparently couldn't tell that they were fakes herself. So this is another lawsuit of an impressionist art, artistic piece of work, uh, an abstract artistic piece of work settled yesterday. There are more lawsuits that are going to follow Nodler Galleries. Uh, Miss Freeman, she may be removed from this suit today, uh, but it really does scream of, of why people wonder how, uh, how much these pieces of art are really worth and whether or not the art world can even be trusted.